G'day everyone, today in this video we're going to create auto scaling titles using the GT designer with the bounding function. This allows you to bind together text blocks to different title elements such as shapes so that the shape will resize based on how much text you type. So for example, if I select this text here and I delete some text, you can see that the shape behind it resizes based on how much text is here. And if I type something, you can see that the shape moves again like so. Now by default, this will move from the top left. However, in vMix 28, you can now change the anchor positioning of this movement to do things like right to left, up to down, and that type of thing. So I'll show you how to do that today. Now, firstly, what we're gonna do is go and add a new title. I'm gonna go to File, New, and just create a new blank title. Now that I've got my blank canvas, what I wanna do is start creating the elements for my title. So firstly, I'm going to need a background. So a rectangle that is going to move based on how much text that I've got in the title. So let's go over to the left here, select rectangle, and let's just create a basic rectangle like so. Now we need to create a text block so we can add our text in our title. So go over to the left here, select text block, and then just create a text block like so. Now while I've got the text block selected still, I wanna go up to the text section up here and then go to this section where it says configure automatic text box resizing. Now I wanna go down here and select width and height. So that's going to shrink the actual parameters of that box down to how much text is there, like so. Now while I've got it here, what I'm going to do is just make it a little bit more exciting. Let's just make this font a little bit nicer. Uh, let's make it a little bit larger, make it slightly more legible. Let's change the color. So there we have a, um, just a slightly nicer text field. What we need to do now is bind the text block and the rectangle together. So I'm gonna select the rectangle, Go up to the format section up here and then go over to bounding as you can see right here. Now on the left of it, you'll see a little image and this allows me to select what I'm going to bind this rectangle to. So I'm going to select text block one. And as you can see, they're now bound together. So if I click on this to write some text, you can see that they are now bound together. Now I wanna make this rectangle look just a little bit more exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rectangle and then go back to the bounding section here. Now, what I wanna do is add some padding to it. So for example, I wanna add some padding to the left and the right and the top and the bottom like so, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Now, in order to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm gonna go up to the home menu and I'm going to add a border to it. So now we have a border and what I can do is with auto resizing, I can also make this work on gradients. So if I go up to the fill here, I can actually select a gradient for the fill and that's going to extend no matter like how much text I put in there. So let's just make this a cool, like a purple to purple gradient. Just, just this angle here, let's apply it, see what it looks like. Yep, that looks cool. And then click okay. So now I have a title that I'm ready to use in my production. Now, before we go any further, you'll notice that when I type text in here, it moves from left to right, like so. And if I did hit enter, it would go from top to bottom like this. Now this means that it's anchored in the top left. So when you create these titles, you're going to need to work out how you wanna anchor your text. Do you want the rectangle to go from left to right, right to left, up to down, centered, those kinds of things. So I'm gonna show you how you can edit the anchor now. Now this is a feature that's available in vMix 28 onwards. So with the text block selected, what you'll need to do is go to the format section again and then go to anchor here. So as you can see, it is now in top left and you could change it to things like bottom right. So when we go ahead and we add content here, um, it is going to go from right to left. And if I hit enter, it's gonna go from bottom to top. Now let's just think about what I wanna do. So in my productions, typically what I'm going to do is make this centered because if I have it centered as a title, when I add new text to it, I want it to expand on either side of that. So what I'm going to do is go to top center. So what that's going to do now is it's going to expand based from the center, as you can see, like so. So that's how I wanna set up, but totally up to you how you're going to choose to set this up. So if I move this down to the center now, when I type things into my production, it's going to always remain in the center. Totally up to you how you wanna do it. So what I'm going to do now is go up to file, save, and I'm just going to save this. Okay, so now I'm here in vMix. I'm gonna to go to add input to add the title. Go to the title section. Any recent titles you've worked on the GT Designer will be in the recent section and select on it here, click okay. And now we have the 
option to overlay this. And as you can see, we've got our title here in the production. So if I add more exclamation marks, as you can see, it's going to extend from the center like so. And if I hit enter, it will go down. So that was just a quick example of how you can create auto scaling titles using the bounding feature in the GT title designer. And if you've got vMix 28 and newer, how you can change the anchor point to be top right, centered or bottom, totally up to you. Now, if you do have any questions about vMix or the GT title designer, please send us an email via the support page on vMix.com. And if you have any suggestions or feature requests for the GT designer itself, please go to our forums at forums.vmix.com and then go to the feature request sections. We can't receive feature requests and answer those types of things on YouTube comments. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.